Hey app developers, in this video we're going to talk about a very interesting topic, app functions. We'll cover what app functions are, what you can do with them, what are some of the limitations and more. Let's get to it. Dynatrace already offers a lot of functionalities and API that you can access directly from your app. And that might be enough in most cases, but if you need access to third-party REST APIs, there's no way around app functions. In that sense, app functions are the backend of your app, and as such, they are built, bundled, and deployed together with it. Here are some use cases. Accessing third-party REST APIs that you want to use within your app, heavy data processing that shouldn't take place in the browser, data wrangling to make the data easily consumable within the app's frontend, and requests that need credentials for authentication that you shouldn't expose in the frontend. Within App Functions, you have access to every Dynatrace API and SDK. Currently, you can create App Functions with TypeScript and they run in the Dynatrace JavaScript runtime. What is this runtime and how is it different to Node.js? Let's take a look. The Dynatrace JavaScript runtime is a controlled environment where the App Functions run. It supports all of the standard JavaScript built-in objects and the internationalization API out of the box. You can see the full list of available objects at the standard built-in objects documentation on MDN. It also supports many of the fundamental web APIs and types you might need. You can find the full list in Dynatrace Developer. Finally, it provides a compatibility layer for Node.js to improve compatibility with third-party NPM packages. Note that this compatibility layer is limited. For instance, third-party packages that access the file system are not supported. Additionally, some of the built-in modules don't support the full functionalities of their Node.js counterparts. Check out the full list of supported modules and their limitations in Dynatrace Developer. An app function, as the name implies, is just a function, and this is its signature. It receives an optional payload argument you can use to send data from the app's frontend to the app function. Inside the function, you can do basically anything as long as it's supported by the Dynatrace JavaScript runtime. There are a few HTTP status codes that can result from an app function execution, and some limitations you should be aware of too. For instance, you can't call app functions from other apps, and the runtime is limited to 120 seconds. You can see the full list in Dynatrace Developer. All right, that out of the way, let me show you how to create and use app functions. Creating app functions is actually very simple, the Dynatrace App Toolkit offers a command to do just that, which you can see on screen right now. Once run, you'll see a new API folder. This folder holds a TypeScript file with the same name as your app function. You can have as many app functions as you want in your app, and every one of them is exposed under its own URL. Let's go through an example where we access a weather API from the app function. Here's the code. We use the regular fetch API to request the weather data for the city coming from the app function argument. We're hard coding the API key just for the sake of simplicity, but you should never do this. We have a guide on managing credentials up in Dynatrace Developer. To test the app function, I'll use Insomnia, but you can use curl or Postman as well. We just need to send the city in the JSON payload, and here's the result from the external weather API. But what happens if an error occurs? Let's see that. If something unexpected happens in your app function code, be it a third-party error or a custom error you've thrown manually, the runtime will return an execution crash error with a 540 status code, and you would miss any details about the actual error. If you need to report a custom error back to the frontend, you must use the app function result object. Here's what it would look like in the weather forecast app function. Now all you need to do in the front end is check if the app function result contains an error and act accordingly. The Dynatrace JavaScript runtime supports all the console logging functions. During development, all your logs will show up in the terminal. However, when you deploy your app function, all logs are stored in Grail, so you won't be able to access or see them directly. However, you can access app function logs with DQL. And of course, we have a guide for that. Go check it out in Dynatrace Developer.
When you're running the development server, you can access any external API you want. But this changes once you deploy your app function. See, Dynet Rest restricts access to any external resources by default, but you can change this in the settings app. All you need to do to be able to access an external API is to add the APIs you use in your app function to the allow list. Follow this guide that explains how to do that. The last important topic I want to show you is how to consume app functions. You can do it in three different ways. From your Dynatrace app, you can use the use app function React hook provided by the Dynatrace SDK React hooks package. Here's a small snippet as an example. From notebooks, dashboards, or workflows, you must use the functions module from the Dynatrace SDK ad hoc utils. It's really easy to use, and here's how. From outside the platform, you must use the absolute URL to the app function, which includes the environment, the app ID, and the app function name. This is how it looks. Additionally, you must handle authentication yourself. Check out our guide for that. You can see these examples along with a few more details in our Create and Consume guide over in Dynatrace Developer. Thank you for staying until the end. Now you just need to try yourself and get some hands-on experience. Also, remember to check all the links I've shared in this video and don't forget about our developer forum. Write your questions down in the comment section, leave us a like, and subscribe for more Inside Dynatrace apps and all of the other amazing content we put out. See you in the next one!